Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about candlestick charts. Now, a lot of you might not know exactly what candlestick charts are and exactly how candlestick analysis works. But really, if you know about technical analysis, which is basically the art of understanding where the market is going to be positioning itself in the short term. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? What is going to happen to a particular share, a particular equity, a particular commodity in the short term? I'm not saying the long term. It's the art of measuring where the share is going to go, where the price of the share is going to go in the short term, all right? And a lot of people make a lot of money with that, and that's perfectly fine. And I'm not saying that, you know, you should definitely do that. A lot of people have different strategies. I personally love to swing trade, and, you know, usually I'm doing something in the middle of trading and investing. But a lot of people are, you know, perfect intraday traders, or a lot of people are just doing investing, which is for months and years and years. So depends on what your expertise lies in and depends on what your lifestyle allows you to do because a lot of things like intraday and all that stuff takes a lot of time, futures and options even. All of that takes a lot of your time and you need to be sitting at your laptop all the time and you need to be looking, looking at all of these things. So again, your strategy completely depends on you. But no matter what the strategy is, you want to know what is a good time to enter the market, right? You want to know what is a good time to basically position yourself into the market so that you get in when the price is really low if you are trying to basically buy the shares first and I'm gonna be talking about short selling in the next video by the way so short selling is another topic but in, in case you do not understand that don't worry about it so a lot of people make money when the market goes up a lot of people make money while the market goes down even you know though you wanna make money in both the ways everything is same but the concept that is very, very common in both of these is candlestick analysis. You should be able to tell that you are buying the share at a very, very low price if you expect it to go up, right? So you want to maximize your profits. And when you want to maximize your profits, you want to buy the share when it is at a low price, right? And when you want to, when you want to maximize your profit when the market is going down, in that case, you want to make sure that you're buying at a higher price so that when it goes down, you profit even more, all right? So the the art of making money when the market is going down by the way that is done using short short selling don't worry about that if you don't know it yet but you need to understand candlestick analysis it will be useful everywhere all right so let's quickly hop onto the computer and let's see exactly how this candlestick analysis works all right so in case you are not familiar with the candlestick charts this is what they look like all right I know they don't really look like a, a candlesticks, but this is what they are, right? So there's different types of, uh, you know, charts over here, and I'm gonna show you each and every one of these, and I'm gonna help you understand exactly what they represent. All right, don't worry about anything below this line. Like, none of this is important here. None of this is important right now, okay? So just don't worry about any of this. What you should look at is the top one, all right? Over here, where we're talking about the candlesticks, the, those green and red lines those are the ones which I'm talking about, those are the candlesticks, all right? So let me tell you exactly how these works. So first off, why do we need candlesticks, right? I mean, you can perfectly understand the price of a share looking at this, this clear little graph, right? Okay, so let's first understand why we need candlesticks. I mean, you can perfectly identify the trend of the market and really where it is going and what is the price of the stock in the short term or in the long term, even looking at this clear and concise graph everything you can you can just identify right this is the price of the uh, share at this time this is the price of the share at you know fourth of uh, whatever it is but whatever the date is I, I don't really care about that what I care about is that I can understand the price right so I can identify the trend all right it's going down all right it's going up but that is not enough sometimes you need to know exactly what is happening in a limited number of time frame so let's say in case you are going for intraday you would be mostly using the 15 minute chart all right the 15 minute chart basically just means that every line over here every candlestick every vertical candlestick over here is 15 minutes of time all right represented like what happened in those 15 minutes is represented by each of those you know candlesticks all right now however in case you are doing something such as investing or in case you are doing something such as you know swing trading or something of that sort then you would look at the daily candlestick graph all right so daily is one day over here and you can see that every day what happened to the to the chart you can see it over here all right this is the daily one but just to uh, you know don't worry about that that is just the time frame it represents so every candlestick over here represents one day 
in case of the 15 minute chart you have a whole lot of options by the way over here so you can just keep on going on and tweaking it in case of the 15 minute chart you have this thing right this uh, 15 minute thing in case you do not have access to these charts and you do not know where to find them you can always go on to my website that's yashmithklainvesting.com and you can check out the courses section once you are logged in you will be able to access this page from here you can go into the stock chart tool where you can find a similar charting tool where you can really just search for the uh, well company or the equity or the commodity whatever you're looking for and then you can just look at its graph for example this is the nifty and in, for instance if you want to check out the apple stock you can just write over here apple and then it'll load it for you all right so again these are the candlesticks right over here so we want to understand what they mean right and why are there two different colors we want to understand that as well all right so first off this is again green and uh, you know it looks blue but just think of it as green all right there are two colors green and red mostly that is what you will find in case it is blue don't worry about it, it can be blue and red it can be green and red but blue and green represent a positive flow and red represents a negative flow all right so exactly what happens let me just sh uh, show it to you over here so let's see see the green candlestick tells you about four things all right let me just draw a quick candlestick over here so that you can understand what happens Alright, so let's say that this is our candlestick, I mean body of the candlestick, and then this is our wick, wick of the top, and another one at the bottom. Alright, so exactly what it is representing, we're going to understand it right now. Alright, so forgive me for the, you know, crooked drawing, but anyway. So let's say that this is green right now, okay? Let's say that this is green. In that case, all right, this is what it will look like, right? So there are four major points on this candlestick that you want to look at, all right? This point, first off, because this is green, so you want to look at from the bottom point, all right? Because this is green. So this point represents the starting price when the 15 minute time frame started, all right? So whenever that 15 minute time period started, this was the starting price of the, uh, of the share at that time, all right? Okay, good enough. So, uh, by the way, you don't have to worry about the exact price. You will have a chart over here which will basically tell you this is the price, this is the price this is at this point. So you'll we'll be able to find out the exact, uh, you know, prices. Let me just show it to you actually. You know, you can see it over here. This is 36 over here, 35 over here, 35 over here, right? So you can identify the prices. Uh, in fact, on this one, you can identify them. E even, it's even easier for you. So like you can just, you know, see that, All right? But anyway, this point right here is the initial price at the starting of the 15 minute time frame time frame all right so this is the initial price I should write that down okay initial price at the start of 15 minutes time frame now again this 15 minutes is not always going to be 15 minutes it's 15 minutes because we are right now we're currently looking at the 15 minute candlestick chart all right so this is the 15 minute thing for now and all right let me actually do it in a different color let's say this one all right what is this price however we already know the bottom price now what is this this price this as you might imagine is the closing price at the end of those 15 minutes this was the price of that particular share all right so this is the let me just actually write this down for you so you don't forget it all right closing price at the end let's write over here of the 15 minutes time frame all right so at that time you have this price all right so 15 minute time frame basically you know the initial price you know the final price all right this is how powerful candlesticks are they are telling you already more than that simple chart was telling you but now they're telling you even more let's look at that all right so at the top over here let me do that in a different color again what is this let's say right let's say this one okay so this right at the top over here this basically means that this was the high point in that 15 minute period so for instance the share started moving from this point right from the screen one and then it went up and up and up and, and then it went up till the red point all right and then it came down and then it came down and somewhere along the way whatever happened but it never went that up all right and it closed at this point so this was the highest point the red one right this was the highest point that basically this was the highest price in that 15 minute time frame that the share was traded for all right so okay let's let's write this down let's write this down right over here maximum 
price that this share was traded for in 15 minutes right and this we already have it over here okay so all right as you might imagine what is the lowest point it is the least price right over here we have the least price that this share was traded for in 15 minutes all right so in that 15 minute time frame what was the least price so these are the amount of things that this simple candlestick graph can tell you about all right now a candlestick graph can tell you about so many things which this simple looking graph right over here cannot tell you about that's why these candlestick graphs are so popular that you will find them almost everywhere okay so exactly what these candlesticks are telling you we're going to practice some of these candlesticks we're going to understand because there are so many types of candlesticks right you want to understand exactly what is going on all right so let's look at some different ones okay so let's see let's actually take into account let's actually take into account something like this one okay let me just you know take this right over here print screen and i'm gonna paste it right over here and i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just keep this one in the frame okay so just this one yeah i'm just gonna crop it out all right so what happens in this case all right this just signifies that because there is no wick right so essentially this is the point where the price started from all right and in those 15 minutes the price kept on going up i mean it might even have come down a bit and then it might have gone up you know that might have happened but at the end what was it was that it closed at the highest price and this is the highest price all right this one right over here so this is the highest price that it closed on so it was being sold for let's say about ten uh, ten dollars over here and right now on on the top it's being traded for twenty dollars i'm just giving you an analogy don't go, don't really go into so much detail of it but ten to twenty dollars and it just rose in those 15 minutes all right great so this is one type of candle again there's so many more as you can see but uh, let's actually analyze a few more so that you get the required expertise all right let's see you wanna check out this one let's see you wanna check out this one right okay Let's take this one into account. Let's crop it and then let's just extend it. Now, what is happening in this time period, right? See, this means, and this is very, very rare. It won't happen in a lot of stocks. It might happen in a few stocks for small companies. It won't really happen for big companies usually because a lot of people are, are really, you know, participating. This either means that no trade took place in those 15 minutes and this was the price when, when, when the first trade took place or it just means that basically what is happening is that see this was the price this exact price at which the trading started all right and the item kept on selling for the same constant price so really the item let's say uh, whatever the item is whatever the share is it kept on trading for the same price itself no one really traded for a price more than that no one really traded it for a price lesser than that this was the exact exact price at all times so it started at this point it made a low at this point and it made a high at this point and it really you know closed at this point itself all right so in this case the start the initial price the closing price the high and the low all are the same okay let's actually look at another one because there's a couple more of them i want to talk to you about let's say let's say this one right here this looks a pretty pretty good one we haven't discussed something like this so let's check this out okay let's just extend this all right so i want you to understand you know exactly how it is going all right because we are talking about the green ones right now i'm not talking about the red ones this is what is going to happen <clears throat> we are going to start from the lower price right this is where it started from basically the initial price and then it went up to this point and this was the max it made probably all right and this was the lowest price all right this is the lowest price this is the highest price you know or the high you could say so you could write here h all right and this was the initial price over here right over here this is i so this was the initial price and what was the highest price this was the highest price and what was the closing price closing price was equal to the highest price and the closing price was right over here all right so as you might understand right because it is the green candle and it goes from down to up right green means down to up because the price is rising okay so green means that the price is rising so definitely it means that this was the lowest price the initial price right over here and at the 
high point was the closing price. All right. Now, however, what happens in the red candlesticks? Let's discuss that as well. All right. Let's say that. Let's actually build our own candlestick so it's easier for us to understand. All right. Let me just actually read this and let me draw a candlestick right over here. So this is the body right over here, and then you have, let's say, over here you have wick. All right, and over here again you have wick. Okay, so this is your red one. So that's why we're gonna color it for as red. All right, so red signifies a downward trend. All right, so in this case, it's going to be a little different. It's not going to say that, all right, this is uh, basically, you know, this is the lowest point. This is not the lowest point. In this case, you know, exactly what happened was that it started over here. All right, this is the initial price. All right, this is the initial price, not, the, uh, not this one. This one was the initial price for the green one, okay? Because it is going down, so this is the initial price, and then this is the final price. Let me take a different color, orange one. This is the final price, all right? So this is the final price, all right? This is the final price, and this is the initial price. Okay, in those 15 minutes, this was the initial price, all right? And what was the highest point? Again, highest and the lowest point, they are the same. This is the highest point, this is the high it made, and again, this one is the lowest price so this is the low that it made all right so you can see initial price and then it goes down and this is the ending price this was the price where basically the next candlestick would start from all right this 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 final price all right so great we understand the green candlesticks we understand the uh red candlesticks again these are very very useful tools because when you're going for technical analysis you don't understand exactly how these will you know benefit you right now but they will if you do not understand this you might really get a better sense of that when you start looking at what are bullish and bearish trends which i'm going to talk to you about in another video but let's actually take one or more, one or two more examples so that you can understand these red candlesticks a little better let me actually show you right over here and don't worry if you don't get all of this in the starting it might seem a little difficult but it isn't really trust me it gets easier all right let's just zoom in first because I want to show you different candlesticks so let's see let's do this and let's just look at this one first all right I'm sure you guys know what this is okay so basically in this case what happened was that the trading really started whether it start at the bottom or the top since this is the red one the trading started at this price all right this is the initial price all right this is the initial price and this is also the highest price because there is no wick, all right? So this is also the highest price. And what is the lowest price? This is the lowest price, all right? This is the lowest price. And of course, since this is a red candlestick, we can tell that this is also the place where it closed. So this is also the closing price, all right? Again, basically what happens in the red candlestick is that the trend is downwards, all right? That's the most important part. You need to understand that in the green candlestick, the trend is upwards. In the red candlestick, the trend is downwards. All right, let's take another simple example. Let's see this one maybe. This is the probably the last example of the day. Just want you to understand exactly what is happening over here. All right, this one looks good. And let's take this one. All right, so what is happening over here? Well, you can see clearly that this is the initial price. This is the starting price, all right? Because this is where the body starts from, all right? This is the initial price. Now, however, what about the high? This is the high point, right? Because that's where the wick is telling you the high point. Wick always tells you the high point, all right? Now, what is the low point? And this is the low point because this is the lowest it goes. There is no wick, so this is the low point. And of course, this is also the closing price, all right? This is also the closing price. Now, easy to understand, easy to follow till now. Don't worry if you do not get exact all, all of the exact details of it you will understand why the red and the green ones are different and really why we have such a classification exactly what is the significance of these let's talk about that in the next video where we are talking about exactly how to deal with these okay so this looks good to me i guess we uh, we understand most of these candlesticks now and exactly what you need to really you know memorize is understanding what is the lowest price what is the, what is the highest price and what is the you know what is the body representing that is the initial and the uh, closing prices because once you once you get the hang of it you can understand that this simple graph is telling you so much more than this one all right uh, or, or we could say this one right the simple one 
all right so this is what i want to discuss with you guys in this video the candlestick charts and really how they work and in the next video we're going to talk about the bullish and the bearish trends and really why the, these candles why have we studied this why have we wasted so much time understanding the candlesticks all right so if you want to really understand more and if you have any doubts you can check out my instagram you can follow me over there you can ask me any questions and i would be glad to help you out all right and i also tell people about the types of shares i'm buying and which share i am investing it in right now that's again you know something you can follow for and you can track my progress as well all right so great seeing you guys and i'll see you in the next video